Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Cogules Nation. My name is Secret Agent Nixon of Cogules. I'm the founder and the director of the Cogules Industry Spy Network and the Cogules Nation. In last year's video on how you do a set of Corsa installing that on Linux, I breezed through one of the parts way too fast. It has come to my attention that one commenter who we had spoken with basically said that since I went way too fast, the individual did not understand most of it, so hopefully I can clear things up. So after you get the game installed, at least the base game, now we need to create a sim link to the login users.vdf file. And it's going to be in this case right here. We have to make a directory right here which is where your Steam library is, Steam apps, compat data, 244210. This is the ID for a set of Corsa. PFX, that's your prefix, drive underscore C, then program files x86, Steam, and config. You have to link that to your home where it's going to be, and then same thing. It has to be led there too. Next, you have to download the content manager. That will be from acstuff.ru forward slash app which is right here it's actually pretty good for the most part and I like using content manager especially since you can get mods in the game very very easily especially for all of these automobiles yeah this is probably I think a set of recent pictures for this you can manage this as well management is pretty good that's not bad then you extract the content manager contents I have it in here too uh, right here and then you want to do content manager safe.exe safe will not be in there it'll just be content manager.exe so it'll be just like this this is what the app's gonna come with well you're gonna have to go ahead and rename that the content manager safe. Safe has to be capitalized with a capital S. Otherwise, it's not going to be done properly. This will basically turn off the hardware acceleration because if you do content manager with the hardware acceleration, it doesn't seem to work on Proton 5.10, the version in which I happen to be using. Now there are probably better um, methods of doing this. I just have yet to learn one. So keep that in mind. Now, once this is done, we have to set the Assetto Corsa launch parameters. The launch parameters are going to be as follows. We're going to have, I have game mode run set. Usually game mode does not work with this game. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. And then this basically runs Proton. You have to wait for exit and run. Then it'll also run as little Corsa's content manager, safe.exe, and then echo. Now what this is going to do, this will basically get Proton up and running. Then you have to wait for exit and run. Basically you have to wait for that thing to exit and then run. And then wherever content manager happens to be, you point the launch parameters to that, then it'll basically echo. So there's that too. Now you have to run this command. You have to echo this command. Well, I'm going to go ahead, control C that I will bring up my terminal control shift and V this. If this is your first time installing this, you want to place this inside of your um, installation. But the problem is that I have a hard drive and for the hard drive, I have to do the following. So I have to change these. I have mount CUDA one games steam. So basically I would have to do this. I would copy this. And if I were to launch this for the first time, I would place this specific directory inside 
of the application where it is asked. Otherwise, we should be good to go. My player name has already been set, so we should be fine on that front. Next, we're going to be doing the custom shaders patch. Now, the following command, I'm just going to type it out. All right, so after this is done, we're going to go ahead and pull this off. Esync up and running. That doesn't look like a good sign. Esync is up and running, but I don't know exactly what the deal is. Anyway, we're going to go into libraries and type in dwrite. And it looks like dwrite is not in here. I have dwrite already. You would type dwrite in here and you'll want to use native and then built in. So it should be good on that front. So after the wine configuration is done and dusted, I do not know why. Hmm. Let me do something real quick. Okay, so eSync wasn't having any issues, so we're good. Now, I have a backup of the prefix directory, so it should be fine. Now, the latest version of the custom shaders patch is going to be right here. But with that, the recommended version is 0 0.1.79. Now, I've tried 0 0.1.79. It doesn't seem to work, especially on Linux. So you'll want to go for one of the other versions of it. I think they do recommend version 1.79, but I think version 1.78 is a requirement. Hold on, I might actually have to. Oh, that's probably what it is. So yeah, 1.78 is untested. I've got all these versions here. I think really the recommended version after that is probably going to be 1.73. They recommend that one. But I've heard that 1.78 seems to work. Hmm. Yeah, I could try 1.78, but I'll try 1.79 for now and see how that's going to go. But after that's done, we also have this execute thing. I think it's up here. This execute command. Now, the individual in question did say about this execute thing, but we're gonna see, I have to find exactly where the uh, execute is. Doesn't look like there's anything to do with execute. Maybe I said something about that uh, last year, so I'm not entirely sure about it. Let me take a look real quick and see what the individual was talking about. So after further research, I think what the individual was asking about this execute thing, executing, I believe, has to do with copying whatever it happens to be on these lines, uh, copying that, and then posting them into uh, your terminal, just pasting them into your terminal. I believe this is what I said when I meant execute. If that's what the individual was talking about, they know who they are. They can let us know if I did get this correct or if I got it incorrect. If not, I'm going to have uh, one of the other guys. I think it's like one other dude. Uh, probably is my editor. I'm going to have him explain that because apparently I am confused by this question. Anyway, I believe that's going to be it for this video. It is going to be a quick one. But hopefully, Content Manager is now fully understandable, at least the way I do it. And if you do things right, hopefully this works for you. So I wish you Godspeed. With that being said, thank you and good night.